Hey now, it's Sharon and I'm back to share another policing experience with you guys. If you're new to the channel, I am a retired police officer. I worked for 20 years for a Southeastern city in the US and I was also in the military. I'm sharing my policing experiences with you by video in hopes of providing a different perspective and also uh, helping someone who might be in a similar situation. And today I wanted to show or, or tell you guys about how the two situations that I tend to bring up both have to do with uh, whistleblowing. Back in 2004, I think it was, the very first time I had to report on offices and then and again in 2010 and how those experiences, as bad as they were, they helped me uh, learn more about myself. Uh, it, it almost projected, propelled me into my into my faith. I did more, a lot more Bible reading and things like that. And I wanted to share with you guys how the very first time I had to whistleblow and, you know, talking about it with my friends and family. And I would, we would always sit around and say, how could they think like that? What's going on in their hearts and minds? Meanwhile, I wasn't addressing my own heart or mind. And then I started to look at myself, so to speak, because at one time, yes, I was all about, uh, as they say, running and gunning and, and getting the bad guy. And my mindset was like everybody else's until I started to take myself out of that bubble and really think about who I was and and who I was who I was going to be loyal to and that helped me in my road or on my road into my faith and so I started to look at my heart because I was asking about everybody else's heart how could they do that what are they thinking uh and that made me <laughs> do uh an inspection of my own and I I I created a little illustration to show you guys. All right, take a look at this and I'll be back. Hey guys, here it is. Remember I told you I had to take a look at my own heart and I just wanted to give you a kind of a visual of what I I envisioned when I, when I looked at my heart and I started to really take a deep dive into who I was and how I thought and what I felt. And I made a little vlog, here it is right there. This is my heart, best as I could do. When I started to take a look at my own heart, I noticed that there were some spots on it. And if you can see those green spots and there are orange spots with some black spots on it. And I'm like, okay, God, what, what, what is this? And he said, the green is healthy and it's, it's growing. And he said, the other spots, the orange is kind of a danger zone. And the black is a, is a hardening of the heart, if you will. And I said, okay, I'm looking at my heart and I asked you to show me this. So he should show it to me. And I, I, well, I said, show it to me. And he's like, well, okay, take a look. And so I did a little illustration of what the green spots mean and what the orange spots mean. Take a look at this. I'm going to turn this back over. Use this as a backdrop, I guess. He said, the green spots are healthy. He said, that's where my kingdom is grown. He said, your faith is strong there. He said, you see the trees growing, they're nice and healthy and green. He said, those spots in your heart, you have no doubt. He's like, it's growing and it, it's it's vibrant and it's lush. It's full of uh, uh, greenery, if you will. And I said, okay, but that's, that's what you wanted me to do. He said, yeah. He said, but those other spots. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm willing, you know, just show me. And so let me turn this over so we don't get distracted by that. As a matter of fact, I'll pull it out the way. And he showed me the orange. Now check this out. He's like, there's a lot, there's a battle going on down there. He said, on, on the land of your heart, there's a battle. And I said, okay, well, show me what, do I need to do something? He said, you're speaking a lot of things, negative things. And I said, like what? And as I bring you in closer, he said, everything that you speak, either I wait on or the enemy waits on. And I said, yeah. He said, the things that you're speaking are building strongholds. And he said, look at your faith. Look how weak it is. Look how big that wall is. He said, the wall comes from you speaking. Remember those things that you said? I don't have any money. I don't have the money. I'm not smart enough. I can't do anything right. I'm always sick. He said, look at that. You're building a wall. And then look what your mind tells you. 
They're pushing against the wall to keep it standing, that stronghold. And what do they say? We have bricks coming in from above. Her faith isn't strong. And those bricks are the words that I speak and they're helping build the wall. And he said, look back there at the other orange spot. He said, that stronghold is right there. You see what happened to the tree? You see what happened to the building? But the stronghold is still there. He said, there's a hardening of your heart by the words that you're speaking about yourself. All these things are going on in your heart. And that really made me take a look and I'm like, wow, okay, God. He said, but it's never too late. He said, start speaking and agreeing with what I tell you. And he said, I wait on your words and the enemy waits on your words. Look at the words I'm speaking. I don't have the money. I'm always sick. He said, stop speaking words of negativity. Speak the words that I speak. And I said, you know what? You're right. And then he said, well, let me show you one more other, one other thing. I'm going to take this away so it doesn't, it's not distracting. And I'm like, what is that? He said, those are the angels that I have assigned to you. Look what they're sitting around saying. One angel saying, when is she going to speak the boss's words so we can get some of that territory back? And the other one's like, yeah, they, they keep building these walls and they turn into strongholds. So that was the example he gave me. He's like, they're waiting on your words. You just got to speak my words so we can tear down some of those strongholds that you built up. He said, it's never too late. Yeah, it looks bad. Your heart is hardened in that area. Stuff is kind of dead. He said, but we can get that done. We can get it knocked down. He said, never mind about, you know, what you're hearing with uh, your coworkers and they're talking about you're a snitch and uh, you're going to get yours and all that other stuff. He said, say what I say. And remember your motto. It doesn't matter what the haters say. They can't convince Jesus. They can't. But this is just a little illustration of how I saw my heart and what was going on in different parts of my heart. I looked at it as land and how the enemy tries to take up residency. But we, I put them out. I definitely put them out. My heart no longer looks like this. I'm sure of it. There's more green than anything else. All right. Talk to you guys later. Hey, I'm back. I hope the illustration helped. Um, I'm, I'm trying to let you into my mind and how I saw things and, and how I went about uh, uh, creating a space in my heart that wasn't hardened, if you will, because they say what you what you don't consider will harden your heart. And I had to watch my words. I had to watch my words because as I was going through the things that I was going through in policing, I would sit there and get down and condemn myself and even sometimes say, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Now I'm considered a snitch and I, I'm no snitch. Stop it. I had to tell myself to stop it. And then I started to speak his words and what Jesus said about me, that I'm redeemed, I'm restored, I'm justified. Um, I'm, I'm holy. I'm sanctified, not through any effort of my own, but because of what he did. But I hope this helps someone because I had to take an inspection of my own heart. I'm sitting there asking, well, how could they do this? They, you know, uh, they're, they're so wrong. They're treating me uh, like, like an enemy, like I did something wrong in telling the truth. I didn't do anything wrong telling the truth, but I also had to inspect my own heart. You know, I'm busy asking about theirs. I had to inspect mine and that's what I did. I hope this helps someone. Uh, take a look at our online store. The link will be in the description. I made some notebooks also. The direct links to those in Amazon will be in the description. And I will talk to you guys later. But always remember, you don't necessarily have to go through a thing to learn from it. Bye-bye.